Hey everybody, Bob Maddox, Crazy Rocket Man here. I'm out in the desert trying to get around on my Blue Dragon cart. Unfortunately, when you're out in the desert, you have to be kind of careful of hazards. And one of them is lightning. And uh, I'm waiting on that cell over there. It's only about six miles away. And you really don't want to be in the middle of the desert, the highest point, riding around in a big hunk of metal creating a uh, <laughs> uh, pretty good magnetic field around it from the engine running. So hopefully that's going to back off. I've only got about 40 minutes before it's too late and the sun will go down. But anyway, it's still a beautiful night out here. You can see Cedarville, California. My dragon cart. Maddox Jets. 270 pound thrust valved engine. If you watch me, you, most of what you've been seeing is my uh, valveless engines. This is a valved engine. Has a great big one-way reed valve up in the front. So uh, the valveless engines just blow out the tailpipe and out the front. So you bend them in a C shape. So you're getting uh, thrust out of both ends. This one just produces thrust out the back. <clears throat> the one-way reed valve makes uh, all the gases rush out the tailpipe and then the negative pressure from the gases rushing out open up the reed valve, suck in more air, which mixes with fuel. Now, if you look at this, it looks like those are fuel lines going into the front. Actually, they're not. Those are starting air. So starting air from my tank down there. I have 120 PSI starting air in that, just from like a regular air compressor. I fill it up and... That solenoid um, <clears throat> that's uh, right there in front, right by the battery, opens up, shoots air into the engine, same time spark comes on. And then uh, the battery that's directly underneath the head there uh, runs the three fuel pumps that are down underneath. And that gives me about 60 PSI to my fuel nozzles. There's four 30 gallon an hour spray nozzles. They're furnace nozzles that shoot into the engine and they're located inside the Venturi's right here. They're inside there. And then of course the whole engine runs uh, really hot around 1200 degrees. So the engine you'll see in videos of how orange everything gets and the, and the aluminum heat shield keeps all that heat off me. Even when I'm, when I'm running this cart or any of my carts, I can't feel any heat at all. I don't have any, any heat on me at all. Other than with this one, when you shut it off, it gets a little, little bit of blast of uh, fire comes out the back. You can see I've got a little black on the back of my aluminum there I haven't wiped off. So anyway, um, just trying to uh, err on the side of safety without uh, hopefully getting zapped by a lightning bolt. A couple hours ago, we had a pretty good lightning storm going on. It's really beautiful. I, so when I'm over here in the at the dry lake bed doing all this stuff, I'm always by myself, <clears throat> and I wait till evening to shoot, so you can see all the fire. So most most nights, I s just stay out here. I stay out on the lake bed. Uh, just sleep in my car. Have a nice bed head in the morning, <laughs> and uh, but. It's a beautiful place, lots of stars, lots of strange things to see in the skies. Uh, about three nights ago, I was out here and you can look all the way down that valley, it's 20 miles to the other end. And there were lightning storms going off down there. There was uh, lightning bolts going off about every 10 seconds or so for about two hours, which is beautiful to see, but uh, this time of year is not so much fun with all the fire hazards. So that's that's what I'm doing this evening and then I'll be back in the shop uh, building my next project which uh, I believe is going to be a jet powered um, mini bike gotta mix things up a little got all kinds of new things coming so anyway as usual thanks for watching make sure to like share and subscribe see you next time